segment I look forward to every week. It's Anthony Marathon, Chef Bud. Good life, good food. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, I, Bud. Good morning. Good morning. I thought he was going to say Tech Bites again. I didn't know that he looked for <laughs> Look yeah, forward to good this morning. too. Yes. So this morning we're going to wine and dine our audience a little bit. Barzi will be on mm -hmm. in a second, but we're also going to cook up some chicken marsala. Marsala, yeah, which is a uh, using a wine from the uh, little town outside of Sicily, uh -huh. where the uh, outside of Sicily in Sicily, where the uh, marsala wine comes from. And what we're doing, this is a real simple recipe. It's really cool for you to make at home in the evening time, or like I said, if you have guests. And all you're really going to do is you're going to take a, a chicken breast. You're just going to flatten it out a little bit. It's okay. a boneless, skinless. Okay. And you're just going to dredge it in the flour. You really don't want to. Uh, you really don't want to like bread it like you would something heavy. You just want to kind of dredge it so we can get a. What we're trying to do is kind of crisp it up and give it a different texture. Mm -hmm. And um, real simple to do. You'll see. Now I've got four tablespoons of butter and four <laughs> tablespoons of oil in here. Okay. So. You got a couple just things going on. Oil? Yeah, and you can see it kind of browns it up there. Oh, yeah. And that's what you're looking for. Now, a couple things that we talk about a lot on Good Life, Good Food is going on in here. One of the things that's happening is the butter and the uh, flour that's on the chicken is kind mm -hmm. of forming a roux as we go. Okay. okay. Yes, it's gonna, it, which will, which will kind of thicken the, the uh, sauce and we're going to make here in a second. Now, this is one of those oh, dishes okay. that you start and then you let it go. And what we're going to do is we've got this going. And you want to let it cook down a little bit, kind of cook some of it all. Then we're going to add some of this marsala in there to deglaze the pan. But before we do that, in a lot of cases, you can take the chicken out uh -huh. and then start adding. Now, this is these are shallot. This is a shallot, about a half of a little shallot. So what is the difference between a I, shallot? I was waiting. I knew it was coming. And baby. garlic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and garlic. Yeah. Okay, that, that's a better thing. Even more. Detailed. Shallots are like a uh, shallots are not like garlic at all. They're more like an onion. But they kind of have a garlic well, aroma. Well, they for one thing they grow above the ground in little clusters, so okay. they, they're they're a little bit, a little bit more. Uh, well, they're not as pungent as an onion. They're just a little bit more smoother than an onion, uh -huh. so you get kind of a different flavor. But they're not an onion. They don't grow under the ground. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But as far as from a garlic, a garlic's got a much more pungent flavor. More, you know, there's more of a bite to it than mm -hmm. something like this. Okay. Now then we're going to add some cremini mushrooms to this. Okay. Now, what you're trying to do here, you can see how it's kind of starting to take away the uh, liquid that's in there. Right. Okay? So we're going to add those in there. Cremini is like a uh, little portobello. Okay? Now, we get to this point, we're going to add a little salt and pepper to it. I was trying to find my salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. And then we pour a glass of wine. Yeah. Now, yeah. Oh, we're gonna about, we're that's, gonna, the, that's how we're, I cook. We're going to put about a... <laughs> We're going to put a cup around the outside edge here. Uh -huh. And you always do it solid. around the outside. So it all, to... I do, so it all pulls together. Oh, yes, okay. that's okay. Yeah. Now, at this point here, what you want to do is you want to reduce this down mm -hmm. to a, a almost a gravy-like form. So we're just going to set, we're going to sh turn this flame down a little bit and just let it simmer like this. Now, if you covered it, obviously it would go faster. Uh -huh. We want to get the mushrooms kind of soaking up in there. So all this stuff is going to kind of go together to form your sauce, okay? Okay. The good thing about this is, is that you gather, and this is why I love a dish like this. It's a very simple dish you can do at home. We'll add a little bit of fresh parsley and some lemon to it. But what happens is all these flavors kind of come together, and you have these layers and layers of flavor, which I'm really, I really like. I think it, it creates a dish. Awesome. Well, so, we will wrap this up. We're going to have a lot more, though. We're going to talk art after the break. All right. Stick around. You need it. Meredith, a big fan of this. Can we make this a regular thing where uh, Monty comes say... on and makes me try wine every Monday? <laughs> well, yeah, the man yeah. behind Barzy Winery, Jenny, has this Monty. Good, good to see you. Good morning. Thanks good to see you, too. stopping by. And Bud, don't say right. I never did anything for you. Yeah, really. With this. I so wish you... Monty come by every Monday, too. <laughs> well, we could. So you've got a lot of new wines, a lot of new awards to yeah. talk about. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. So what are we trying this morning? Well, it's kind of up to Chef Bud. I poured him a little okay. bit of everything, trying to see what he likes. He likes them all. He's, just, he's been trying it all commercial break good, for folks. research. I, I suggest you try all of it. So. so what does he have in his glass? What is this? Chenin Blanc. Okay. Which goes well with the chicken, chicken marsala. marsala. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So with, with chickens and with fish, we, we kind of want to stick to white, right? But Not necessarily. There's a lot of reds that go with that. That's, really? That, that, I'm not hard and fast on that really. Yeah. Okay. But uh, but with this what he's cooking right there, yeah, I'd, I'd say a nice Chenin Blanc or a mm -hmm. dry Riesling or a nice Sauvignon this Blanc. This would really, this is very good and it, it really would offset the sweetness of the Marsala. So you mm -hmm. kind of get the two different, mm -hmm. two the different contrast. Yeah, the contrast of flavors, which I like when I cook a lot, that's what I like to do is, is contrast flavors. I think this would go really well with it. And you're not a big mm -hmm. wine drinker, but you really, you like all you know, of his wines. You know, I was telling Monty, I am not a big wine drinker and I cook a lot with wine, but I'll tell you what I really like about his product 
his product is a very smooth product. I think that people who who haven't tried your product should really give it a try. Mostly because I think a lot of people get turned off by one because it might be too tart, maybe a little too mm -hmm. strong. This stuff is really smooth, and that's what I like about it the most. Uh, the two that talk about the two that I tried. Yeah, what is this? The, the label the mystery wine. <laughs> right. We just bottled this about two and a half weeks ago. This oh, is our okay. next Sangiovese. Uh huh. So we haven't put out a varietal Sangiovese in a long time, and a lot of people are saying, "When are you going to do that?" Mm -hmm. And so we have. Just what makes it? A few of you know out there that the, so. There you go. What so, makes it unique? Well, it's uh, well, it's smooth, as okay. Chef Bud said. It is very. Here, let's pour him a little it. bit. Let me let's, try it. All right. So, <laughs> let's, did you put milk in there? No. She hasn't started. You're the one that's It's after yeah. five. Yeah. It's, it's a, it is. It's a. after five. Oops, sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this, now pronounce it for me again. Sangiovese. Sangiovese. It's an okay. Italian varietal. Let's watch. Oh, that's really good. Isn't it good? Isn't it yeah. Good? I'm really happy you with really, that turned You out. should be proud of that one. That's yeah. a great, now talk to me about the awards, because you've got a lot oh, more yeah. medals since um, last time you were here. We've got... Of the new wines that we that we have labeled, not this one, uh -huh. but have uh, we've been getting a lot of awards for it for that. We've we've entered them in, okay. in several competitions around, not you know the, just the country, but mm -hmm. internationally. And so, well, congratulations! It's cool to be recognized. And I way. I want to point out you brought a whole box of things, but I wanted to mm -hmm. point out that you guys have all sorts of new wines. What's mm -hmm. the a good wine for summer right now? It's hmm. kind of just well, we're going to be cooking and... steaks a lot mm -hmm. this summer. Uh -huh. I've got a. We just bottled a cab, our next Cabernet. Mm -hmm. It's a 2007 from Newsom Vineyards. Uh -huh. It's amazing. Oh, yeah, and it's, but you're cooking a steak. Yeah, that's yeah, a little salt, a little pepper. Nice. Leave that steak yeah. alone and yeah. open that bottle of cab. Because uh -huh. everybody yeah. always wants to know what what do you drink with red meat, and right. that's what you would recommend. Yeah, well, it's just, you know, I mean, the different types of red meat. I, I like lamb, and I think uh, uh, Pinot Noir goes wonderful mm -hmm. with, mm -hmm. with lamb, and even the, the Sangiovese, some Tempranillos. Mm -hmm. You know, as long as they're not too too heavy. Right. So there's a lot of good stuff you can experiment. So folks, find what you like. Exactly, and they can come by and they can do a tasting with you. When Absolutely. can they do that, and how can they set that up? Oh, we're open Monday or Tuesday through Saturday, two uh -huh. o'clock till ten, and then okay. Sundays four to seven. So we're just open. And oh, you what's just come the by. website? Barzywines.com. Okay. <laughs> and go out and see their facility, folks. I've done a couple it, events out there. It's phenomenal. It's I just want to think I love this. Yeah, it's a book. great, great environment to have a event. Can we, I, yeah, I'm going to serve a wine. Do I get to try it? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. You get to eat. Greatest. You get to drink. Watch you cook this exactly. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. We appreciate it, Monty. Stick around. We'll uh, finish cooking with Chef Bud next. Happier Chef Bud now. You look like Chan Chan Tatum, yeah. Steve, I feel like you didn't give me enough props this week. So <laughs> on the way out, send me one, okay? Oh, my gosh. Yes, good gosh. luck. You. Only 10 likes. 10, folks. Let's get this done. 10 okay. to what? To or 1,400. Let's get oh, this nice. dish done. Okay, so we've we've uh, <laughs> we've, take, we've taken the Love chicken you. marsala sauce down, uh -huh. and you can see how it kind of thickens up on the uh, on the uh, chicken. One of the things is you're kind of cooking it in the in the sauce gravy, whatever the case may be, and you're getting a nice little coating onto the uh, chicken. Mm -hmm. And then you notice also how the mushrooms kind of break down a little bit, and the shallots. So we're adding a little fresh parsley on top. But uh, steamed broccoli is a great great fit for that. Um, when we were doing the wine earlier, the one thing that Monty really pointed out that I think is important that people understand is there, there's no boundaries as far as what you pair with what. It's mm -hmm. kind of what your flavor or what your, uh, your tastes are. And I really like the fact that he does a great job of kind of pairing with, uh, kind of by flavor, not by standards. Mm -hmm. So in other words, this has got the marsala in there, a little bit sweeter. So um, this one here that he gave, what's that one? Which one? The the Blanc. Blanc, yeah. You know, it's it tasted really nice. It wasn't real sweet, so it kind of combines really well with that flavor. And I think that's the big, I think that's the big thing with the wine. And like I said, I'm not a big wine guy, but I will tell you, the wines that I've, you know, that I've had from Barzi, a lot smoother than most wines. Mm -hmm. I think that's one of the big things. I think, I think that's one of the turnoffs maybe by people when they when they drink wine is it's a little bit too strong. Whatever the case. Yeah, and you don't want it to <laughs> overpower the food. You want to no, complement it. It needs really to complement. Yeah, and I know I constantly talk about layers of flavor, and that's kind of what the wine does. It adds another contrast, another flavor to it, mm -hmm. and or another a layer of flavor to it. So I really like the idea, and I like the idea of uh, what he brought today. So again, this is real simple to make. Dredge it in the flour, into some oil and butter. You add your marsala, a little bit of, of shallots. Yeah, and and the big thing is, you know, we've deglazed pans so many times. And take you know take the wine around the outside. Let that wine cook up in there, and let it be a part of the sauce because it basically is the sauce. By the time you're done, again you know for those that don't drink, cooks the liquor out of it. And that exactly. Sort of thing. Four and a half years, man. <laughs> no, but what I'm saying is, <laughs> gotta be honest. What I'm saying is, is I have you know I go first Baptist. A lot of people they kind of I don't know if we should drink 
but or if we should eat something with wine or, or any kind of liquor, the the alcohol cooks out of it, and that's right. the thing. you just after the flavor of the, exactly. The you know who's the biggest investor in wine in the NBA? Head coach of the San Antonio Spurs, the champions, Greg Popovich. Oh. He's a wine connoisseur. I bet he was popping. I bet you Monty knew night. that though. I don't know if he knew it, but I knew. I it. bet you Monty knew that. I don't know if he knew it, but I knew it was coming. You're so excited. We'll go to the after the interview. Do you guys want to duke it out right now? No, we, I no no no. He, Let me move the wine it, though. He called and if you it, do I'll this, just do it in moderation. Hey, we need a picture of the week. Is there a picture That's of the week? It. Yes, we have a picture I got of the a week. <laughs> this is look at this. What this the is heck? This is the man show. Is what happened. When did you take that? that? Remember, I put it on on Facebook. You got uh, go through with it. There's Daniel, the uh, no producer, right? Travis, Travis. right? Uh -huh. And then Miguel. Daniel over here in the uh -huh. hat. And then back in the back is Miguel, right? Yes. Yeah, Steve Kirsch down there holding up his. I'm and the brother. Anthony I'm the brother in the picture. Yeah, you can see Anthony. You know what, folks? This is what happens after we go off the air. They get to eat. And I was so happy to feed these guys. We did the porterhouse last week. And it was and so good. They, they Anthony as, was raving about it. They tore it up is what yeah. I That's what I named that picture was tore it up. Okay, so, yeah. That was Travis really just fun. gave me a heck yes in my ear. Yeah, we, we had a good time. <laughs> Meredith was gone, so it was kind of like a man show. But we did it. It was fun. See what right? happens when I leave town. But when you, you came back, there was nuts. wine. So welcome back. <laughs> yeah, I had to make it up to myself. Look at you. This is your habit. I was like, let me call Monty. Let me call Bud. Because I'm going to eat. I'm going to drink on a Monday. Hey, go try Barzy Winery, man. You can't can't go wrong. Great facility, great product. I mean, you don't usually don't find those two that go together really well, but yeah. they've done a great job out there. Yeah. So. A really nice Love that place. There. And follow you on Facebook, Yes, right? 10. We only 10 likes to 1,400. I feel like I'm on Sesame Street. 10. Good life, good food. Number good life, day. good food. Good chef bud. Thank you. We're going to wrap you. some things week. up right after this.